you guys how to make that weird cut text and uh, yeah anyways this is quite special from other people's because they don't really teach you and they will just sell you letter packs so yeah i think that's not so good because they're just gonna sell you money so i'm gonna teach you how to make it for free by yourself and no, i hate letter packs i really hate letter packs but i'm still using something yeah. all right so what you're gonna do is that you lack your computer actually but there's a lot of other ways but my way is very different for a lot of people and i just figure out myself of course i watched some tutorials on cut text but you know just no one just fit my style all right so yeah now i'll just create text now and you can see this and align it to middle and then go to text and just put your letters but you need to do it one by one i just prefer that if you don't listen to me just up to you all right so i already chosen a font and uh, just go to the mid 60 all right and now press this one or if you don't have a mouse if you have a mouse you just click on the middle one if you, you don't if you don't have a mouse just click on this if you have a mouse just do what i did and just go to this view go to front view and uh, yeah now you can see your a all right and you try to render but there's nothing because it's just uh kind of like sp spline or what i don't know all right and now just create um rectangle what but just follow me this is the simplest one and uh, yeah just uh, you can figure out for yourself for advanced one but this one is just a simple one and uh, yeah this is like a rectangle you can see and uh, look at the a so now what I'm gonna do is go to this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm gonna count, count it. But just drag it and go for spline mask. Go for mode A intersect B and drag both of this in here. So now you can see it's just like half of way A, but what's the other one? Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is just gonna control C, control V and then go to mode b subtract a and now you can see both of them and uh, you're still trying to render but you know i don't care all right now you can see the top one okay click on it and go to code all right sorry all right just go to tree py tree and then this one negative py tree all right so now it's you know kind of like a gap and uh, yeah so now you're gonna design yourself but i'm gonna design like pretty nice doritos on you know a eventually so i'm gonna go for linear and uh, just press some triangles and i'm gonna do like this yep like, excuse me excuse me sir all right i don't care no i don't like this triangle actually i like illuminati triangles all right just kidding all right, so this is, I'm really gonna put three triangles because triangle has three sides, you know. Oh God, this is annoying. Okay, I guess, no. Can I just touch that, touch, let me touch that. Yup, I did it. Yes, finally. Let me get out of here. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna create another triangle. Ah. Yeah, there we go. So these are the three triangles, and uh, now I'm gonna put something here. You can just you know design yourself, but I'm gonna put a star and go to object. Two is thirty five percent, point five, and I'm just gonna make it smaller. You know, smaller. All right. Okay, I can't control my mouse. Ah, all right. Come on, ten percent. Yeah, there we go. I just go down and uh, yeah all right there we go so now it's kind of like a design but i'm gonna put more stuff like a circle so i'm gonna put some dots here i'm gonna put some dots and there's a lot of other ways but this is my own way so it's gonna quite lag your computer but i'm gonna put the radius 2.5 cm and it's that small wow all right so I'm just gonna go here, go 
go up here. Alright, go up here. And this one hole. Alright, let's copy paste and go for another hole here. You can design yourself, you can put all of the holes here, but I don't prefer it because you would like your computer. I don't prefer more than 10 shapes because you know, you know why because your computer can't handle it trust me later i will tell you why you know why eventually later on right. here and here and yeah that's all how many shapes one two three four five six seven eight eight shapes so don't don't have more than 10 shapes and uh, yeah all right now this is my own way i'm going to teach you the formula so now we're gonna do is go for a uh, spline mask and the mode should be B subtract A and then uh, this gonna, I'm gonna do the top part top part first so I'm gonna go here and put your triangle story toes here and now it will combine to now one and now we're gonna do is control C control B for the second one and then drag it to this one and you can see it's still the same, but if you put another triangle inside, you can see two triangles are combined together. You just control C, control V again, and then do this, do this, and yeah, now three of these triangles are here. So that's a lot of stuff. Okay, this will confuse me. Don't ever touch it. Yeah, don't ever touch it. Alright? And just control, now control. Did I just do that? Yeah. Control and just drag in and put a circle here. Oh wait, the circle is here. Yep, it's here. And yeah, now control, yep, place here. And yeah, so now they combine together. Alright. And then this one, just do the same thing, but I'm gonna go for spline mask. Um, B subtract A. Alright. I'm just gonna, um, anyway. It's pretty quick, but if you have a lot of shape, I don't just don't. I just feel like don't prefer you to do that. All right, and then now you can see it just looks like this. All right, and then now you can just turn back here, and you can see all the shapes are in the middle. Yeah, just make sure because it will look weird. I can't explain how, but you know, if you just follow me. It won't, it won't be so weird like you now. Alright, now we are in the perspective view. So now go to extrude and go to object, movement 60 cm, cap, fuller cap, fuller cap, steps I recommend 9, 9, and we're gonna do outer part, so we're gonna do 1.5 cm, 1.5 m, alright, cm. So yeah, I'm gonna copy paste them and drag this here, this here. Let's see, that's a hole. Alright, this is very attractive for me. Because I really love to see a hole here. Alright, just kidding. Alright. So now we're gonna make a now and then name it as uh uh outer nice name. Outer space, alright. Then extrude and from then will be combined together. Right now, just drag both of this and copy paste. Make the filler cap 2.3, 2.3, object 40, and go up. And yeah, it's quite laggy, let's get used to it. Alright, now I'm gonna get inner. And here and now it, it's quite laggy so if, if if you put a lot of shapes shapes quickly drag both of this um, press C or just gonna press this and just made it you know simpler and you can't edit anymore if you do that all right and uh, now we're gonna drag all this yep all right and now you won't be feel laggy anymore. Oh my god, it's not laggy anymore. Wow, I'm so scared. Alright, just kidding. So now I'm just gonna go for this and put your materials. I'm gonna put like this color at the side. 
the wick and uh, the iron or ground inside. Alright, so now it should look like this. Alright, this is material problem, but it's alright. So yeah, if you have a good light kit, you'll look very nice. If you have a very bad light kit, you'll look very dark. And uh, yeah, let me see. Alright, stop it. It's annoying. It's really annoying. Alright, so now the last part. No, we still have some parts to do, but just follow me. Create a shape rectangle and uh, just make it smaller, like you know, 35%. I love perfect numbers. Right, grab both of this. Actually, I think drag, okay. Actually, at the start, you should actually drag one, one more down. Yeah, you should actually drag one more down. No, yeah, it's 60 cm. Yeah. I was right, and now drag both of this into the rectangle and name it as A. Yep, whatever name you want, but you know, I love A. Alright, and oh my god, I forgot one more thing. Drag both of this and go to this 30 cm so that's in the middle. And now I'm sure it's alright. Yeah. Alright. And uh, yeah, don't ever press C of this or you'll die. So now you're gonna save it for me. Actually, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna save it for me, but for me, I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna create a new preset library and I'll call it as. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna call it as cut text. Uh, I don't know. Alright, just okay, and drag this in here. Oh, I hate this. Wait. Don't put, don't don't put material into your preset library. Yeah, like this. And I'm gonna like it's just like I I will use it. I will use it. Trust me, I will use it. So yeah, guys. So the tutorial will end here. And you know, uh, if you have some popcorn.